A ventricular septal defect or VSD is a birth defect where there is an abnormal connection between the two ventricles of the heart. VSDs are the most common heart defect. The heart is a single organ that functions as a pump for two circulation systems. The first system, called the pulmonary circulation, brings blood poor in oxygen and rich in carbon dioxide, that is, oxygen-poor blood, to the lungs, which makes it rich in oxygen and poor in carbon dioxide, that is, oxygen-rich blood. The ventricles are the power pumps of the heart. The wall between the two ventricles is called the ventricular septum. The left ventricle pumps at a higher pressure than the right ventricle. So any hole in the septum results in blood pumping from the left ventricle to the right ventricle. This causes some red blood to mix with the blue blood in the right ventricle. This abnormal flow can be heard as a heart murmur. VSDs are often first detected as heart murmurs when a doctor examines a child. VSDs come in different sizes and locations and the treatment depends on other factors as well. VSDs may also be a part of a syndrome of other heart defects. Smaller VSDs may cause no problems and are left to close by themselves. As the size of the VSD increases, symptoms tend to get more severe and present earlier on in life. The most common symptoms include shortness of breath, failure to gain weight, sweating while being fed and frequent respiratory infections. Due to the severity of these symptoms with larger defects, surgical closure of VSD might be needed. This involves sewing a patch of material to cover the hole. Eventually, the tissue of the heart heals over the patch or stitches.